Boston Dynamics has made quite a name for itself in the field of robotics. Every time they release videos of their latest creations, they always become trending sensations. Why? Because every time you see their latest mechanical super beings, you get that strange mixed feeling of awe and terror. Imagine a cheetah robot that can run faster than the fastest man on earth. A creepy insect-like crawler robot that can climb tall buildings. A humanoid robot that does parkour and gymnastics routines, exhibiting the agility of humans. More of those creepy creatures that will blow your mind in this episode, Nine Scariest Robots from Boston Dynamics. Be sure to visit with us until the end of this video, because number one will definitely leave you thinking robot apocalypse. This is Dexter for Mind Read. Now sit back and get freaked out. Number 9. Rex This 30-pound, six-legged, half-wheeled robot was designed to rough it through just about any terrain. Rex can travel through rocks, mud, stairs, sand, curbs, and just about anything without any trouble. This is because each of its flipper-looking legs are individually powered, giving it strength as well as flexibility. In other words, it can dominate even the most extreme of terrains, to follow and spy on you. It is also waterproof and can run for four straight hours in just one charging. This crawling robot comes with a high-resolution video uplink and is run remotely. Though the Rex has been around for a while, this improved version was commissioned by the U.S. Rapid Equipping Force. It is built military gears ready, with mounting rails on top of this heavy beast. What do you think they'd use this for? Hmm. Number 8. Rise. Another creepy crawler from Boston Dynamics. Meet the Rise. This insect-like robot was designed to be able to walk on land as well as all sorts of vertical surfaces. It uses six legs, which are covered with micro claws, allowing it to scale trees, walls, fences, and even telephone poles. Its body was designed allowing gate control methods to respond to the different scenarios in climbing. If its body needs to twist for bends and curves on the surface it is trekking, it adjusts accordingly. Plus, it is equipped with a very strong tail to ensure the insect bot's balance as it does its vertical climbs. Okay, after bug robots climbing skyscrapers, what's next? Number 7. Cheetah now for the holder of the fastest quadruped robot ever developed, the Cheetah. This four-legged robot blew away previous records, setting a new time to beat at 39 miles per hour. The last holder, which was an MIT robot, previously held the title as fastest with 13 miles per hour. The cheetah even beat the record of the fastest Olympic champion, gold medalist Usain Bolt. In 2009, the Olympian set the record for the 100-meter dash at 27.78 miles per hour. However, the cheetah ran on a treadmill with offboard power and did not have to deal with wind resistance, as one would in an outdoor condition a factor to which Boston Dynamics had to admit that Bolt is still the superior athlete. The cheetah was named after the fastest animal on Earth because its design is patterned after the graceful feline. 
According to Boston Dynamics, in order to crank up the speed of the bot, they refined the control algorithms that coordinate the robot's leg and back movements and increased the installed power, mimicking the animal's movement. From the fastest robot, we now move on to the most agile. Number 6. Handle The handle was first introduced in 2017, but it took a back seat as other products were introduced to the public. April this year, the reimagined handle was reintroduced in a warehouse setting. Other robots introduced by Boston Dynamic had no clear function, but Handle, in its intro video, showed the robot's specific function, lifting boxes and moving them around in the warehouse. The robot was designed for material handling. Its legs made it capable to manage rough terrain, while its wheels made it move quickly across the floor. The bot's grasper was made to lift cargo at 15 kilograms, or 33 pounds. Though if you compare the activity to humans, the robot takes a longer time to lift and place down boxes. So why get a weird, ostrich-looking robot to work in your warehouse? Maybe because robots don't get tired? Oh yeah, they also don't demand increases in salary, nor do they ask for overtime pay and vacation leaves. Number 5. Pet Man The Pet Man, which stands for Protection Ensemble Test Mannequin, is an anthropomorphic robot designed especially for the U.S. Army to test chemical protection clothing against chemical warfare agents. Pet Man can walk, squat, do push-ups, and other complicated movements such as calisthenics, to fully simulate the effects the soldier has on clothing. More than movement, it can also simulate the expected physiology within a suit, such as regulation of temperature, humidity, and even sweating to test all possible realistic conditions. How cool is that? Just like a real soldier. They're not going to develop the pet man into a real soldier though, are they? Number 4. LS3 The LS3, which stands for Legged Squad Support System, is a massive quadruped robot designed to accompany soldiers in the field of battle. They were specifically made for heavy lifting and can hold up to 400 pounds of payload to be able to assist troops on foot and free them from carrying heavy weight themselves on difficult terrains. This robot can travel 20 miles and go without refueling for 24 hours. It is also equipped with GPS for navigation as well as sensors that allow it to follow a human lead. This transport walker can carry all the needed supplies of walking soldiers such as food, water, medical supplies, and shelter. But more than that, it can also carry heavy artillery ammunition. Don't you think it looks a lot like the ATTE walkers in Star Wars Attack of the Clones? This is a time when real becomes real. Number 3. Big Dog The Big Dog is an all-terrain robot that was funded by DARPA, or the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency hoping that the robot can serve as a pack mule for soldiers in the field. The 240-pound, 2.5-foot-tall robot was designed to rough it through difficult terrains such as snow, mud, and rubble that would have been difficult to maneuver on wheels. It was also built to carry heavy weight, as much as 340 pounds of payload easily. It can also run at 4 miles per hour. Big Dog's legs are equipped with sensors, which include joint position and ground contact, allowing it to move and balance. Do you think this four-legged terror could be a soldier's best friend? Number 2. Wildcat 
The Wildcat can be considered the cheetah's robot offspring. While the ancestor broke speed records, it was all under controlled conditions, as it remained tethered, sprinting on a treadmill. The Wildcat, true to its name, is a quadruped robot that can run on all types of terrain. The free-running four-legged bot has taken to the street, and so far it can run 16 miles per hour on flat terrain. You can see it using bounding and galloping gaits as it moves smoothly because of its articulated spine and biometric stride. It also has the ability to turn, which is said to be useful later on in military applications. The goal, they say, is for the Wildcat to hit the 50 mile per hour speed mark. Let's see how fast they get there. Number 1. Atlas A robot doing parkour maneuvers? Now that's really creepy. The video released by Boston Dynamics is both impressive and terrifying. We can see Atlas, the most dynamic humanoid robot, push the limits of whole-body mobility as it does everything from parkour, backflips, somersaults, hand springs, spinning jumps, a split leap, and we see all these movements in a clean routine without Atlas losing balance at any point. It moves unbelievably, like it has almost human agility. And that's the really creepy thing about it. The mechanical ninja is definitely getting more sophisticated showing off new tricks every year since its creation in 2013. Atlas developers say that they are now using a model predictive controller to blend from one maneuver to the next, making the routine seamless. Well, whatever it was that they did to this shiny humanoid, I'm too scared to think of what Atlas might do next. I just hope Atlas doesn't twerk his way to world domination. Thank you for joining us for this episode. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit on the subscribe button. And ring that bell so that you're constantly updated with our new uploads. And do check out our other videos for more content like this. This has been Dexter for Mind Read. Again, thank you for dropping by. We'll see you again on the next Creepy Countdown.